Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to David's March. We're in episode 10 right now, and after a few well, clutch battles in episode 9, we are still in Arish, and over here we're not alone. Arish still has some, well, some red units in here. They have a value of 15,000 points versus my current 5,700. Fortunately, this is not going to be the end of the battle. Because I can bring in everybody else. Especially the task forces that were forced to run after a battle group got uh, ambushed. In the sense that, well, I didn't defend, defend? <laughs> I didn't defend my flanks very well. And they found out. Killed off my only command unit and said, haha, go back to where you came from. Or something to that tune. Anyway, I can get all the units in here. Um, this is going to be the last battle, probably. They still have Naval Sector Charlie that they want to mess around with, but come on, you don't have a command unit, so just scoot off, will you? Go bother somebody else. Uh, I suppose I could keep some sort of control over here and see what happens. Oh, we got a Naval Attack Squadron up there. Uh, probably not too dangerous, because they probably can't do much. The rest of it, everybody's going to be taking part here. I don't really dare reinforce them or refit them because they might not have the maneuverability to get there. They need six pips. They have seven. So some of these aircrafts or some of these um, air wings are not going to be doing it with the entirety of the Air Force. The only task force that I don't have available here is the Desert Giants. Uh, I could reassign them here so they have a bit more range, a bit more reach. But, well, it doesn't really matter because this is probably going to be the final fight. So I started with 5,700 points, and now I have 29,000 points. Now we're getting somewhere. They still have Nagotka, I have Delta and Charlie, and actually, this isn't even my final form. Because there are some units in here, um, good luck picking them out, that are low on initiative. Let's see... here, no. I swear I had units low on initiative. That we're not going to be able to fight in this battle. At least not yet. Anyway, this should be sufficient to take out what is left of these armies. They have four command units. The uh, Nimmer command. 35 units of infantry. Still some of those in heavier units, but only two. They have a couple of the KA-92 Copia, or VDV Copia, which is dangerous because they can flank very quickly. So Entier will need to be present. This time around, I'm not relying just on my four Barkan, who actually survived the previous encounter. I also have some other units which I can use in, or which I can call in. Uh, the Patriot Pack 3s, definitely useful. The Dracon, Kela David, only one of those survived. But we got six Machbet, which should be plenty to deal with those helos. Tank-wise, they're reduced to four. So I think this is going to be, unfortunately, a pretty quick fight. Because they won't really have that much that they can throw my way. Yes, they have fifty, no, 44 planes. But, come on. It's not that likely to be that dangerous. Famous last words, of course. As for my forces, if I want to push through... Um, I got the M21 Abrams Tusk. Merc of a 3Bs. Yes, these things are slightly heavier, their tanks. Because they're the T-72B3. But if I can spot them and eliminate them from the skies, I should be able to push through. Although the skies will have to take some care of what's coming at them from the ground. The Flakon, the Panzer, oh, sorry, Pantasir, uh, the Vityaz. There are all sorts of dangerous weapon systems, especially this one with a range of almost 10 kilometers. It's the counterpart to the Patriot. Let's see what I can do. All right. Oh! My bad. I'm afraid this is going to be over really quick. Um... Because of the Hilo group, I also have Rafa and Charlie, so they only have Delta. Oh, this is going to be a butchery. That is unfortunate. Because there is not really that much that they can do. They can try and capture a sector. You know what? I'm going to let them capture a sector. I'm going to start here in Rafa. I'm going to let them have Charlie. I'm not going to spawn in any surprises, any Maglan teams or such. No, they can have it. I will, however, start to push in from here. So let's have a couple of tank groups do that. 
Let's go with the hardens first. Make sure we have enough anti-air to keep these guys safe. Because they will probably try some stuff with the helicopters. This time around, very definitely set up a line of defense around the command unit, which is going to be a Murkova 3 Picud. So let's have some units over here to defend. Uh, the Shaita 13 served me really well, so they can do that. I can also have a couple of uh, cheap tanks here, like the Magach 6. These guys. And they're going to get support from a Magbet. Now, um, Recon's going to be fairly useful, as always. Got to see where the enemy is before you can shoot them. Let's send a Maglan over here. And that's all I'm going to spawn in for now. I know I have a ton of points, but I just don't want this to end just yet. So let's see what they do. I'm very much hoping that they're going to send a unit to Charlie, a command unit, and capture the sector. And just draw out this fight a little more. But they don't have that much left. Um, oh no, that's not the way to do it, buddy. That is not the way to do it. Don't leave with a command unit. Command unit down. Stop. We have MI8s over there. Let's send in some US Marines. Here, then with this town. Yeah, no surprise. Those guys got wiped out very quickly. Look at the assortment of helos. Good lord. Really? Missed a lot from the Patriot. Hit. Stunned. Uh, what else can we send in? Let's get a couple of Machbets in here. Hold on, that Nummer. <laughs> it's proving tough to kill, isn't it? <laughs> you simply can't do it, because it, this thing has 21 frontal armor and 10 side. Good luck trying to kill that with a helicopter. Ah, really? Patriot Pack 3 is constantly locking on. Taking out another helicopter. My guy was 19, moving up. Down. Oh, this thing now did take a fairly he fairly hefty hit. Oh, that must have been the S13s. Those hit harder. Hello. What are you about then? Oh, there's VDV down there. Interesting. Give me a Machbet on this side as well. Actually a Kala David. Better overall ground coverage. Uh, I imagine that Gau-19 might be able to take down that Hilo as well. Yes. Rachmaninov. Oh, command unit. Well, they did capture it. To their credit, they did capture it. So they can now spawn in more units. And so far as they still have any. Oh, crap. Uh, where are they? No, not the Lavi. Sufa. Drop off. We're not alone in this town. Merkava, smoke up. Here's the Sufa. Wiping out one tank and a swift blow. That's one down. Ooh, there's BMT-84s. Those things have no sense of humor and will immediately wipe out my units. Serious damage. There goes the Humvee Recon. You guys to fall back and you guys to go on the offensive somewhat. Okay, Marines. Oh, beautiful. Side shot. The BMT-84s have no idea which way to turn. And it's starting to show. Kala David over there. Patriot. Inside the smoke, uh, inside the tree line here. Machbet there. Can I spawn in every unit? Can I afford that? Yes, I'm going to quad stack the shit out of this, but why not? Why not? J 
just make one enormous tank offensive. Why not? There's a Terminator out there, but it's probably not in any aggressive mood. Considering what it's up against. Yeah, now we're coming up to some more expensive armor. Rookies. Wow. Oi. Or should I say oi vey? I'm standing here. Look at that Machbet go. The Kalada vids out of ammo. Let's make sure it falls back. What? Oh, there's another one over there. Well done. You're out of stingers. You still have the other ones. Assumed incoming artillery on the Markava, potentially more. Hello. <laughs> Don't come into this town, buddy. You're gonna regret it. Alright, let's continue spawning in the tanks. I need a few more points and I can call in all the Markova 3s. The 3Bs, that is, with the grenade launchers. Surprise! Hello, VDV. And the Republican Guard has arrived, no less. La V already on point. I think you missed. Hmm. Yeah, I think I just called in all my tanks. Excellent. Take out the VDV before they take cover. Now, calling in all the vehicles and such is going to be much more difficult. Because we're going to have different speeds on these vehicles. There we go. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Huh, that's uh, interesting. What weapon system should I pick to take those out? Because they are Cornet, which means a high-end ATGM. How are those JDAMs so inaccurate? I just don't get it. Bring the elf to peace forward. Can I stack up any other units? Yes. Regroup. There we are. Yes, Tusks. Mark of a fours. Magar six, Magar seven. Ah, I think that's everyone. So let's barge into their main spawn in style. With all the armor. I'm not even sure how many I have over here, but it's somewhere north of 30 to 40 tanks. Fast move there and attack anything that has the guts to return fire. Alright, let's bring in a helo. He said enthusiastically. There, Siphon. And... Oh, I got the Comanche. Beautiful helicopter. I was trying to bump into that. Oh! That's the Kalia, the, the Kala David. Look at this. <laughs> they all do the little happy jump when they get onto the bridge. That's the Megachs. Merkava for three Bs, I think. More Abrams are trying to pile through. Oh dear. This is the whole situation of, uh, could you please move your tanks away from the border? Nah, don't worry, we move the border away from your tanks. It's the Centurion story. Oh! Oh wow! I think we found some T-72s. And, I think we might have actually found something else as well. 
the majority of their air force has suddenly shown up. Or at least their helicopter force. The Kela can only assist with six missiles and then it's out. Their CV is either on the move or dead. <laughs> this is glorious. I mean, this thing could have been decided in five minutes if I just spawned on top of them in Delta, but this is, I think, more amusing. Oh, they still have a CV here. Gentlemen, you that way, and you that way. Unfortunately, you're going to be coming under air attack. But, we can claim this, guys. Okay, 60's coming over. I will have lost a lot of tanks when this is over. Okay, 60's... Oh, these things are packing thermobarics. They should be that deadly against tanks then, though. There's a command unit running out. Of course, having pulled out all my tanks, the only ones I still have left are the Merkavit 3Bs over here. Hold on, I lost an F-16? To what? What could possibly be doing damage to an F-16? Well, any of the anti-air that they might have called in. Oh, this is dangerous for the tanks. This is really bad news for the armor. All the AGGMs are coming in. The cornet. Please do as much damage to those as you can. As quickly as you can. Because they will make really short work of you. Oh, Spetsnaz. Command unit is running away. Mercury of the 3B is already engaging against the Terminators. There we are. Why are you not airborne? I'm just asking for it. Oh, it's not the last one. No, it is. Opponent retreated. I just wouldn't know to where. All their battle groups are dead, with the exception of the Air Force. But since I have captured Arish... There we go. Major Operations David March is a success. All invaders have been routed, surrendered, or were destroyed. A peace deal that finally recognizes Israel's sovereignty with our Arab neighbors is being drafted as we speak. Turkey's president resigned and the UN has put sanctions on Russia for their involvement. However, we pray that even our enemies find peace. That was the campaign. Big thanks to Tarsus. He created the campaign on top of the um, Bear vs. Dragon one. I really had a lot of fun with it. I hope you guys did too. You can find it down below in the description. You can find out how to install it and how to download it. Uh, not in that order. And it is very much worth your time. Uh, it is not an easy campaign. The first couple of battles will really make your life quite difficult. But then again, that is what we're looking for, right? The challenge. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and uh, be sure to check it out for yourself. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon for more videos.